Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all well and uh, causing lots of trouble. So I actually um, already listed these. Um, I think it was yesterday. Might have been the day before. I can't remember. Um, but I have six new, I would say, medium size journals in my shop. Actually, two of them have sold already, but um, I'll tell you which ones those are. Um, man, I struggled with these. I really did. Um, I actually wound up doing the spines on them like a couple times because I just wasn't happy with the way they were working. So, but now, like, I don't know. I, I feel like each one uh, really has its own personality and... Um, I just, you know, these books, these are all really old books that I used to make these. And um, I was really trying to just preserve as much of the cover as I could. Um, even though it looks like I covered up quite a bit of it. Um, I sort of had to, the way that the spines were, were made. But, so anyway, I was not really able to save the actual spine um, I tried a couple different ways, but it just didn't work. So anyways, <laughs> I got them done and I'm really, really happy with them. I really am. I'm glad that I decided to, to make them this way. So each one, um, is, let's see, I can't remember about seven and a half by about five, give or take, you know, some of them are maybe a little bit narrower, but you know, like this one's four and three quarters. Um, but they all have three signatures, inch and a half uh, spine, and um, it's a somewhat curved spine. I did stitch into the spine, so it's not a hidden, um, it's not hidden, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, and you know, I left the, the string that I used to, to bind them, um, you know, kind of just hanging here. I was gonna add a bunch of stuff on here, but you know, I just felt like they didn't need it. And, um, but I did do one of my, um, altered paper clip book charms, um, and attach that with an eyelet at the top on each one. So they've all got their own little, um, little book charm. And then as for a closure, um, I kind of went back to something I used to do a lot, which is use a piece of ball chain. Um, and that way you can hang, you know, whatever you want on there. I just added a little key on each one. Um, this is how I used to do a lot of my journals and I sort of forgot about it, you know, I don't know. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, these are, these, all six of these really kind of remind me of the, um, the journal that I had published in Greencraft and, um, that one was obviously, you know, one of a kind, but these really kind of are right along that same style so um, somewhat understated but anyways I know you guys want to see the journals so um, I'll flip through um, completely one of them and then I'll give you a, a, a quick look on on each of them okay so let me just kind of scooch those over so let's look at this one um, I don't remember the title of this book because it just had this plain um, red marbled cover. Um, I did not want to do like book corners on these. I just really wanted to kind of present them the way that they are. And, you know, I didn't want to cover, I already covered up a lot of the book by doing the spine this way. So I decided to just, you know, just leave them the way they were. And, you know, some of them are kind of kind of ragged on the the corners and stuff but you know I just feel like that gives them character for real like I don't know <laughs> I just think um it makes them a little bit softer and um you know they show their age most of these books are more than a hundred years old so um you know they're gonna show some age right anywho okay so that's that's the spiel. So I've just attached a piece of lace on the front of each one. Um, nothing on the back. This is actually flower sack fabric. Um, so there's some discoloration here and there, but, um, I didn't, I didn't, uh, 
you know, do that intentionally. That's just the way it came. So, um, so yeah, the ball chain closure with the hitch post. And then I can't believe that you guys can, that this is even showing up. I'm filming this at night and I've got most of the lights off. So it's kind of interesting that it's actually like the color looks pretty decent. Um, I turned the lights off because it was actually really glaring. So anyway, um, all right. So on the inside front cover of each one, I made a little double pocket with uh, one of the little brown paper seed bags that I've got in my shop and um, just added a couple of tags. Um, whoops. <laughs> Can't see. So there's actually like, you know, there's actually three pockets. So you can go back behind that and then, um, and then this one. So <clears throat> anyways, and then I did tabs, um, you know, just here and there, usually five or six tabs. And then on each one, I just used a bulb pen and attached some little, um, charms with some beads and things like that. This is a little honey bee. Um, yeah, so let's just kind of flip through and lots of pockets, not tons, but, um, you know, enough, I think I like to sort of disperse pockets throughout the book rather than have, you know, I don't like to have too many of them. I like to get a go pocket and then, you know, eight or 10 pages and then another pocket or whatever, <laughs> Just, you know, because if you're using it as a, as a, you know, a daily journal or something like that, then, um, you want writing space too, right? So these are just some little images, um, from, uh, I think New York Public Library. So some tea dyed paper. This is some really pretty, um, stationery that I picked up at the thrift store and, um, I just love it. It's really nice, heavyweight paper. And then I took some of the Tim Holtz paper clips and just kind of, um, you know, did a little twist on the end and then attached just a little teeny tiny bead. Um, now I didn't want these to be like super fat and, um, uh, alligatory. So, um, I put, I think three altered paper clips in each one, but I didn't put anything in them, um, because I have another pack of stuff that's going to come with each journal. I'll show you one of those. So you could decide what you want to include. So I just, for, for the time being, I just wanted them to not be super fat. Anyway, so, um, some eco dyed paper that I made into a couple of pockets. Um, this is some, um, this is actually photo paper. But, um, beautiful bird images. So I just went, you know, sort of nature themed, I guess. Um, a little coin charm on that one. So here's another paper clip with a little, um, butterfly charm on it. Another piece of, uh, ledger paper. Some green graph paper. There's another pocket with a journaling card. And some collaging on the pocket, some more eco dyed paper. This is actually like a um, a drawing paper. It's a craft color drawing paper that I eco dyed. I sort of, um, I guess I call it like fusion eco dyeing because I use a dye also along with the plant based, you know, color. You're gonna get um, like a dye too. So anyway, and then some. Uh, you know, handwritten kids paper, <laughs> some more graph paper, some tea dyed, um, scrapbook paper, just another, um, little flower charm and an owl on this little bulb pen. And then this is just a bridge score sheet. Um, I went kind of minimal on the insertions in the pockets because like I said, I've got this, you know, huge pack of stuff that comes with each one. And then um, I mostly just like to put something in there. Well, somewhere that I can put your tags that I've made, but also just to kind of show you that it is a pocket. And then I just went a little crazy on the stitching on this eco dyed paper. Um, yeah, so I, don't know, I just went zigzaggy all over it. Uh, this is tracing paper. This is avocado dyed paper. 
Um, there's another tag, some collage, and then um, I actually tea dyed some of my most favorite botanical pages from my most favorite botanical book. Um, this is some eco dyed tracing paper. And this is onion skin paper. This is vintage onion skin paper. There's another little charm um, with a really pretty um, German glass bead and then a little leaf charm. Some um, real lightweight um, craft paper. This came out of a sketchbook actually. And then a couple more pockets. Um, eco dyed paper pockets. Tea dyed paper, uh, onion skin. <laughs> I love this green uh, graph paper. It's super pretty. So this is basically just the other side of what I just ex explained. Um, this has a little vintage button on it, a little shank button. <clears throat> Avocado dyed paper. Yeah, tracing paper. This is some, um, this is like Italian uh, wrapping paper actually. Some handmade paper. It's another pocket with some collage on a tag. There's another paper clip with a little, um, I started using my um, metal stamps, right? So I did some, I had gotten these little circular um, brass, or no, not brass, I don't know what they are, um, these little discs, <laughs> anyways, and so I've been just kind of stamping words onto them, so this one says create. Some little scraps of eco dye, and then I just did some little tiny pockets with some little tiny tags here and there. From an old ledger. There's another charm. It's actually a key. You see the leaf? So pretty. Um, these are some leaves that I actually got from Rosemary that she sent me last year, and I just used them. Um, this is some more onion skin. Some more of that stationery. Another pocket. Um, some more tags. So I backed a lot of these with, um, I got a whole bunch of these old record albums, just the albums, and a lot of them had the paper uh, sleeves in them that you would put the records in, and some of them were this really cool green color, so I actually just glued the tag to that paper and then cut it out, so I don't know, I just like that old paper. There's another charm, this is a little honeybee another pocket, a collage pocket with a little um, image. I guess I did some collaging on the back of that too, so you could write on it. So yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the way these came out. Um, in the end, I'm telling you, I battled, <laughs> I battled with these, with these journals. But yeah, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with them. So this isn't a pocket, it's just glued on the back. So, okay, and then here's the back of the journal. So they each have a name. I gave them each um, a name. So this one is Constance. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so this is the only one that's the red marbled. Um, and then this one is uh, Vivian. <laughs> um, and there's the charm on her. And these are all just attached with a clasp on a ring right here. So you could take it off and put it wherever you want. But yeah, so this one has, this is a little book charm on that one. Um, <clears throat> and I had some sets of these that um, are in my shop. I think they've all sold now, but I'll show them to you anyways because I have another listing that I want to talk to you guys about. So I'm not going to go like totally and flip through each one of these, but you know, you kind of get the idea. Um, and like I always say, there's, 
you know, there's a bunch of pictures on the website or on the Etsy site um, of each one. So uh, this is probably one of my most favorite eco dyes that I ever that I ever did. I I found this bush at the park and it had these little tiny berries on it. And um, so this is what I got from those little berries. It turned out really cool. So anyway, yeah. So this is uh, this is Vivian. Okay. And yeah. And then there again a little key on the um, on the ball chain. So okay. And then this one. Oh, I also named some of these. Um, I was looking for inspiration. I w the Wizard of Oz popped into my head, so I named this one Glenda. Um, so this one, this is the book charm on this one. It has a little owl and a little button. Um, and then again, a key on the on the ball chain. This kind of weird little key. So to get this off, you know, you just push down and then it comes right off. So yeah, so this one is Glenda. And, you know, these charms, they're they're kind of awkward, so you you do have to sort of move them around. Um, if unless you want to just take them off and do something else with them, but um, yeah, so however many um, tabs there are, that's how many charms you get. <laughs> this is a little acorn, a uh, little butterfly. So, a little guess check. Um, so yeah, this one is Glenda. I have a lot of stuff I want to show you guys, so I can't really, I wish I could just like sit here and flip through journals all day, all night, but I think I would probably run out of things to say and you guys would get tired of hearing me say, and this is eco dyed paper and this is avocado dyed paper. And this is vintage book paper. Anyways, and then I also took some inspiration from one of my favorite bands, uh, A Perfect Circle. <laughs> and I used some of their song titles as names of my journals. So this one is uh, Magdalena. But um, <laughs> anyway, so here's the book charm. Can you see it? There's a little key and a little button and another. Oh, and there's a little elephant that I kind of distressed with some distress paint. So, and then this one's got a little tiny brass key. This one has kind of a green sort of tone on the front, front uh, page there. See little pockets? I love these little pockets. Wait till you see the little pack of stuff that I put together. I did a little tiny bit of collaging on some of the like pocket pages but I didn't do all of them I figured you know you guys could do that I mean it's like you know <laughs> I could just sit and work on them all day all night and they would never get done right I do kind of like to leave my journals somewhat unfinished you know because I feel like at some point you know you want to make it yours right so Anyways, we've had this discussion before. Um, oh, so this one is Brenya. It looks like Brenna, but it's pronounced Brenya. Um, and this, again, a perfect circle. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to run out of names here one of these days. Um, so this is the book charm that goes with this one. And then there's another little brass key, one of those little tiny ones. This one actually is a little bit fat. Um, and that's because the tags that I put in here um, have like a lot of fabric or lace on them. So that's why this one turned out a little bit fatter. So I really like the inside of this one. I love this color. Yeah, some of the, some of the tags are kind of thick. So... <clears throat> Yeah, like see like these, these have that, I don't know, they're just kind of, kind of heavy, but. See 
looking at my at the so the, these images are from this um you know one of those like how to paint flowers books you know they're kind of oversized and um i found a couple of them at the thrift store one day and um i just kind of cut them apart and I don't know, made them into tags. I thought they were really pretty. Okay, so this one is Brenya. Though there's the back of it. I didn't show you the back of the other ones. But this one has like a little emblem right there. But you see what I mean about the corners? Like they're not perfect. But you know, I think they're I think they're cool. So um and then this one uh was an old reader. Most of these are old children's readers. So, except for that red, that first red one, um, I think that's what pretty much all of them are. One of them is a math book, though. I think this one was a math book. So, this one is, this one's actually one of my favorites. They're all one of my favorites. Anyways, um, this one has actually sold, um, I can't remember what the other one was that sold. I think it's this one. I think yeah I I should have found out before I did this yeah I think that one sold mm, maybe <laughs> sorry you just have to look um anyway so this one is Judith again a perfect circle song um that's a song that they don't sing in concert anymore by the way just saying um anyways so here's the book charm that goes with this one Okay. And then I love this, um, like applique lace type of stuff. I got this from Patty. She sent me a bunch of it and I just love it. It'll be a sad day when it's all gone. Um, so yeah, so this one's Judith and she's kind of got a pink sort of, uh, thing going on in the front. Um, this is a little owl bead, like a ceramic bead. <clears throat> Yeah, some more eco dyeing, some more bird images, <laughs> um, some more stitching, all that good stuff. Some time cards, lots of collage tags and pockets. I haven't counted the pages. Um, I guess, you know, maybe one day I'll start doing that. But as of now, um, I don't count the pages. <laughs> I probably should, though. Um, this was a little postcard. and Anyway. <clears throat> Repurposing stuff. So I made, I did some collaging on these little round um, tags that Leslie Stonehouse sent me. So um, I just wanted to give her a little thank you. Um, I actually did do collaging on all of those little round tags you sent me, Leslie, in case you're watching. And I thought they were pretty cool. I really like them. I took the white um, ribbon off and just added something else there with a little eyelet. Okay, so that one is Judith, and um, like I said, this one I know is sold, and I think um, I think Magdalena is sold, but um, but the rest of them are still available. Um, okay, so a couple other things I want to show you guys. First of all, the little pack that you're gonna get with each journal. Um, I don't know. I just. I was just feeling generous <laughs> and um, I had made these little I had made these little booklets with the intention of inserting them in the books and then like I said I just didn't want them to get so fat so I'll go I'll go through that in just a second but um, I just want to show you some of the other stuff that is in um, each one of these little packs so you're going to get like a tall skinny tag. Some of them are not this tall. Some of them are a little bit shorter. But um, but yeah, I loved these just like tall skinny tags. And I don't know. <laughs> I thought you could put it in another book or whatever. And then just some tags that I had left over after I filled the journals. Um, just some, you know, tea dyed paper folded into an envelope shape. Uh, let me go like that. 
And then each pack has one of these vintage um, bingo tally, or not, bridge tally cards in it. Um, and then some avocado dyed tickets. A couple of bingo cards. Um, this is a handmade envelope. Some, um, uh, you know, card catalog cards. Some bridge score sheets. And then um, I am going to start offering these tags in my shop. Um, I can't remember what size they are. They're like two and two and three or one and three quarters by three or something or four. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Anyways, you can see how big they are. Um, so I think I'm going to start offering these in my shop. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys like a little sample pack of the tags that I have now. So those and then the um, these white ones, I think I'm going to get some more of those and include those. And then I got these repair tags. Um, I liked them because they were a little bit smaller than the layaway tags and the uh, alteration tags. So, um, yeah, so you get a couple of each of those, the repair tag, the layaway, and the alteration. And then um, just a little, a little altered envelope um, that's avocado dyed. I just stitched this decorative little piece on the front. A couple more bridge score sheets and then a gift certificate. <laughs> okay. So each, like I said, each journal is going to get one of these little packs. And then this is the little, um, the little booklet. So they're stitched, um, at the spine and then they're either bound or the closure is either a piece of seam binding or some sari silk. So, and then I did a little, a uh, little charm on a bulb pen on each one. Um, so yeah, so there's a little pocket on the inside front. Whoops. On the inside front, I put a, just a little envelope in there. And then there's also one on the back, okay? Um, and then they're just, you know, a couple more little book pages. And then some off cuts of tea dyed paper and um, avocado dyed paper and stuff like that. So, okay. So they're just some, you know, cute little booklets. You could toss them in your purse or... You know, give it to somebody or, you know, you could put it in the journal too if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, so each one has one of those. Um, and those are going to just be kind of random. But, uh, but they're all pretty much the same. Okay, so that's that. And then, um, oh, I wanted to show you the uh, paper clip bead, uh, well, I call them paper clip beads because that's what Paula Forder called them when she first made these. Paula Forder is the one that gave me the inspiration to make these initially last year. And, um, um, I made quite a few of them last year and I even did some kits of them, <clears throat> but I haven't done them for quite a while, but I don't know. I felt inspired by Carla Frizzell's video recently um or not her video yeah she made a video and then she also posted um a bunch that she had made in our facebook group so um so she kind of inspired me to make i should say to finish these i had started making them already but she was so prolific with them it kind of prompted me to finish mine anyway so i had some sets of these these are all sold um but never fear i think i'm probably going to make some more um, and then also I have a kit, uh, for you to make your own. So anyways, I just kind of wanted you to see what they are. So, um, I guess, you know, you saw them on the books, but yeah. So, um, sets of five and, um, I did them kind of color coordinated, but, um, yeah. So let me show you the kit. Um, so anyway, it's kind of pointless for me to show these to you like really in depth because like I said, they're, they're all sold anyways, but, um, yeah, let me show you the kit. So let me, let me just move these. Sorry. I know this is going to be a super long video, but Okay, so 
These are listed as um, Altered Paper Clip Book Charm Kit, I think. Um, so in each, so you're going to get a dozen um, rusted paper clips. And I didn't want to go crazy with, you know, including a bunch of paper clips because I figured it's like <clears throat> something that most of us have anyway. So, you know, you don't need a ton of them. And um, a lot of us know how to rust them anyways. But, you know, in case you don't or you don't want to or whatever, I included a dozen for you. And these are the large size. I do sell these in my shop. So if you want, you know, more, they're, they're there. Um, I also have the smaller ones. So, anyways, I just did a big batch of the large ones. So, so you get a dozen of those. And then I did a dozen um, metal charms in each, in each kit. Um, the charms are different, and they are definitely at random. Except for each one is going to have a coin and a key. Um, for sure, each one does. And then, whoops. <laughs> I lost one. Um, and then you're going to get like, you know, just an assortment of different charms. Okay. So they were very random. I just pulled, poured them out on the table and counted out um, eight small and then four, um, two large and then the key and the coin. Okay. So a dozen charms all together. Come here, that little one, that's actually a little paint palette. It's kind of cute. And then I did two dozen bulb pins. And then some smaller gold safety pins. Okay, well, I guess I don't need to take these all out, I guess. But anyway, so you get a dozen metal, um, just like metal tone um bulb pens and then a dozen of the multicolor ones and those are also in my shop just just saying you know I have a multicolor assortment in there now um, so if you're interested in that and I think there was like 20 different colors in that assortment so it's kind of cool anyways and then see the little teeny tiny little safety pins so you get like six or eight of those and then I did a little pack of buttons okay so there's probably you know 30 buttons in there, something like that. And I just literally took a little handful and put them in the bag. So, and then you're going to get four, um, wraps around my hand, <laughs> uh, four lengths. That is four wraps around my hand. So I think it's about a yard. Um, so of, uh, um, Baker's twine. Okay. So there's like red, blue, green, and black. Okay. And then I just, I went into my, um, seam binding scraps and, uh, you know, just gave you like a handful of them. So they're all different lengths and stuff like that. Well, the ones that were like pretty long, I cut them into pieces that were a little bit shorter that would go with the paperclip, um, charms. So anyway, so you get a little assortment of those. And then I did, um, include some book pages that I cut so they would, you know, I mean, these are just going to be wrapping around paper clips. So it's not like you need a huge sheet of paper. Um, but I did include some, um, some map paper from a vintage Atlas. And then, um, this is from an interest calculator. This is really cool. I mean, like, see, like you only need like a little strip of paper to do the paper clips. So um, and then these are from dictionaries, different dictionaries, but they're different colors. See, they're different tones. And um, most of them are illustrated dictionaries, so you're going to get some pictures and stuff. Um, and then, wait, where to go? So I just kind of, I had to fold them so they would fit in those envelopes, in those bags. And then I did some um, sheet music. This is really old sheet music. You get a couple pages of that. And then, um, this is actually from the, um, one of my favorite books. It's the, um, oh, what is that book called? I always forget it. Graphic Standards. That's what it's called. Graphic Standards. Okay. So, yeah, so that's the paper. I know it's not a ton of paper, but, 
you know, these are the papers that I use on mine, so I don't know. I just felt like I should, you know, include whatever I use. So there you go. Just to be, just to be fair, you know. And then <laughs> this is kind of silly, but um, so everybody's been bugging me to make salad and to make junk journal salad again, and. I keep saying I can't just make salad it has to come from scraps so I actually went through all my scraps and um, you know scrap ish size pieces and I cut them down and I made salad okay so um, but I wanted you to have some flour sack fabric um, so I just gave you a super long strip of flour sack fabric and then this is just from a vintage sheet it's just white um, fabric and that you can use to wrap around your paper clips or you can tear this even thinner and use it to tie and make you know for embellishments or whatever anyways um so then you're gonna get that much salad okay <laughs> um yeah so there's lace and just all kinds of random things in here um you know ticking and um there's definitely vintage fabric in here lots of it um, there's some gingham, um, you know, all kinds of stuff, okay? So, you're going to get a bag of salad and the flour sack fabric all together. I have fun making these little kits. I, I do. I, I think it's fun. I like doing the... You know, putting everything in their little bags and and then like arranging them in the bigger bag and stuff. I love doing that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so there are 20 of these available right now, and um, you know they're light enough that they'll ship uh, first class for sure. Um, and international, I would think it would you know they'll ship for less than twelve dollars. So. Um, you know, not too, not too bad. And then I do have a video, uh, basically a tutorial where I'm showing you how I make the, the, um, charms. So I'll try to remember to put the link to that video in the description. Um, but I did want to mention that since my, um, all of my paper clip you know, book charms have sold out. Um, I know that Carla Frizzell has some for, for sale in her shop. So I'm going to actually link her shop in the description. So if you just want to buy some already made, um, paperclip book charms, you can get some from her. Okay. So I will, um, put her Etsy shop in the description. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'll do some more at some point too. And, uh, I'll let you know. So, Anyway, so that's those. And then also, just really quickly, um, from my last live sale that I did, it was kind of a short, weird little live sale. Um, I've got these fabric packs that um, I have photographed and listed in my shop and um, counted how many I had and all that. And uh, yeah, so I have these listed in my shop now. And I'm not going to go through each one, but... Um, basically what we have are, um, I'm not going to open these up, but these are the brights. So it's like yellows and oranges. And then, you know, you get all of these like, um, eyelash trims and things like that, um, <clears throat> that coordinate. And this is the blues and greens. Okay. Um, this one actually folded wrong, but, um, so these are the blues and greens. And then there's pinks and purples. I think there was four of these left. Um, yeah, so pinks and purples. There's like velvet and silk. And I mean, there's all there's some good stuff in these packs. So, and these I'm offering free shipping on um, in the U.S., okay, on these fabric packs. So, um, if you want to get like one of the kits um, or whatever, you're only going to be charged for shipping on that, not the, not the fabric pack, okay? Um, so this is the one that I just called darks. Um, I was calling it blacks, but it's really not. It's more just like dark colors. Um, mostly browns and dark greens and stuff like that. And then this one is reds. 
Okay, so there's, you know, there's all kinds of goodies in here. I love all the trims that are in these, you know. Um, and I'm going to be doing some boho um, paperclip uh, book charm kits also. So in those, I'll be adding like silk and, um, you know, eyelash trim and stuff like that. So those ones are the ones that I'm, you know, I have right now. They're, I would say, more like vintage kind of style. Anyways, and this is the browns and neutrals. Okay. So, um, and there's going to be common fabrics in some of these, like, like these both have some of the same fabrics, but you know, they kind of fit in both. So anyways, I just wanted you guys to know that I have these fabric packs listed in my shop now. And then also left over from that, uh, from my most recent short live sale, um, I have bird book pages listed now also. Okay. So I think there was seven of these left. I have done like 15, I think. And so there's seven left and, uh, excuse me. So anyway, you'll see pictures of these in the shop. Um, but you know, there's Audubon and just, I mean, all kinds of bird books. Um, mostly pictures. Okay. They're not a lot of text. They're, they're mostly, you know, pages that have nice photos or, you know, images on them. Not, not photos. Some are photos, but not very many. Like these black and white ones are photos, but, um, and then I did a sheet of eggs in each one. I printed off a sheet of these, uh, vintage eggs. So you could cut those out or do whatever you want with them. So anyways, I think that's it. Um, yeah. So yeah, the kits, the journals, the bundles that go with the kits or with the journals, the fabric packs and the bird book pages. Okay. That's it. <laughs> All right. One last look. Um, yeah, there's the journal. There's the journals. Okay. Let me pile them back up. These were really fun to make and, uh, I'm glad that I, I got them done. So anyways, all right, you guys, I love you. I got to go find some links and do some copying and pasting. So take care and thanks for watching. Bye for now.